Welcome to the photo department. The new year just happened. It's January of 2023. I'm not ready. I haven't been ready. I'm ready. We're fine. Everything's fine. You may have heard me talk about this in the new episode of the Spooky Park Bench podcast, which if you haven't listened to yet, go ahead and go into the description, click on that link and check it out. I decided to go full time with the YouTube channel because I lost my job last year and I have nothing but time and I should do something with that time. I'm kind of revamping the channel. It's not entirely a rebrand and it's not really like changing the channel too much. I'm just trying to make it a little bit more professional and more consistent so that there is content for you guys to check out and I don't sit around and drive myself crazy. I will be drinking coffee. I'm not drinking coffee yet. I thought because of the new year and because kind of turning over new leaf, uh, trying new things, I thought it would be interesting to do something a little fun and a little stupid. I have here some coffee from Ikea. I think the consensus in the coffee community is that Ikea coffee is probably pretty bad. Um, I don't know, I don't know yet. I was at Ikea buying this mug and some other stuff that I needed and this caught my eye. Ikea has always kind of carried coffee. They have a couple different dark roasts, they have like a medium roast, they have an espresso roast. But I saw this and what struck me was that it is a, according to this package here, a single origin coffee from Uganda. I've never had a Ugandan coffee or I can't remember if I have, but this, I'm curious. I'm puzzled, but I'm very curious. Is this gonna be any good? I don't know. The package doesn't have a ton of information. Uh, so it's a single origin, White Nile, whatever that means. Uh, from Uganda, ground coffee, medium roast, organic. Don't know if that's true or not. Uh, a three for acidity, a three for body, and a three for roasting, which I guess means roast level or roast depth or something. Um, I'm not sure how to quantify those things, but we're gonna try. I'm assuming these are, the scale is against other coffee that Ikea carries. But um, yeah, I'm gonna try this. Unfortunately, it is pre-ground. I'm not a big fan of pre-ground coffee, but what are you gonna do? It is vacuum sealed, which is pretty interesting and good. According to the bag, this coffee was produced in July of 2022, which means it was roasted and ground and packaged in 2022. Uh, it says it's good until January of 2023, which is this month. It is vacuum sealed. I don't know how that bodes for how it's gonna taste, but we're gonna find out. We're gonna find out. I figured for this coffee, it'd be really fun to do an AeroPress. Uh, it's one of my favorite ways to make coffee. It's a very cheap, uh, very smart uh, way to make coffee. Uh, it's an immersion with a percolation kind of at the end method. It does a very good job making coffee taste very good. Good coffee in, good water in, good coffee out. I don't know if this is good, <laughs> but, but we're gonna see. I gotta go get my kettle. It smells like coffee. It kind of smells like maybe what Folgers would smell like. It's ground pretty reasonably. It's not super fine, but it's it's probably right around what I would do for, you know, a V60 or, a, or an AeroPress. I'm gonna use uh, James Hoffman's uh, recipe for the AeroPress. Um, I'm gonna do 11 grams of coffee to 200 grams of water, and that should give us a delicious cup. Again, if this coffee's any good. Okay, let's go. I'm gonna give it two minutes and then I'm gonna swirl it and then 30 seconds and then I'll push. Okay, two minutes, let's give it a little swirl. Okay, 30 more seconds and then coffee. All right, 30 seconds is over. All right. It 
just it just smells like a very pedestrian coffee like something you'd get at a diner or like instant folgers or something it doesn't smell bad it just kind of smells like coffee i don't know how else to explain it it just smells like yep that's coffee uh okay i'm not going to taste a ton when it's really hot but i do want to give it an initial taste just to see how terrible this really is i will tell you i'm expecting it to be very bitter i'm expecting it to be kind of hollow maybe a lot of body but not a lot of complexity or sweetness probably no sweetness but I'm just gonna stop talking and taste it. Cheers. Huh. Wait a second. <laughs> Wait a second. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on a second. No, no, no. Oh. Oh, man. It's not bad. Oh, weird. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. It's got some bitterness in the finish. And the aftertaste has a, has a little bit of bitterness, a, a lot of roastiness. But the flavor of the coffee itself, it's got a pretty nice body. It doesn't have like fruit or super a lot of sweetness. It's got a little bit of sweetness, um, but it's got a good mouthfeel. That's very strange. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't, uh, I don't know what's going on, but I like it. This is... This is kind of good. Oh my God, this is kind of good. I'm shocked because this is coffee that was ground. This coffee was ground and roasted more than six months ago, packaged more than six months ago, vacuum sealed, and then put on a shelf in an Ikea. And it's not bad. This is, it's not, okay, it's not, it's not good. It's okay, it's, it's, if this is all I had, I would be fine. But I'm not going to reach for this first because it doesn't have any complexity or, or, or character really. But I'll be fucking damned if this isn't like decent. I'm enjoying this cup of coffee. It's not the greatest cup of coffee by any stretch of the imagination, but it's, it's, it's fine. What the hell? Okay, Ikea. This was $6.99. So if you want some just caffeine that's not going to be offensive uh and you're on a budget and you're near an ikea this is 6.99 and it doesn't suck i'm gonna have to investigate more ikea coffee because if this doesn't suck i'm gonna assume it's possible that other ikea coffees don't suck also that's weird but yeah happy new year <laughs> cheers i'm gonna clean this up and then we'll get down to business Give me a second. Looking back, 2022 was really tough. It was tough for me, my girlfriend, our families, kind of everyone we knew. Um, it was not a year of a lot of wins. There were some wins, I will say, but there were just as many, if not slightly more, losses. I will say the first win at the beginning of last year was when I got my job in the studio uh, at the end of January. I was elated. I was really happy to be working um, in a studio, doing photography every day. It's a really impressive, state-of-the-art, humongous studio that you could do pretty much anything in. But that excitement quickly turned to a uh, feeling of doom, and uh, working there was very difficult. It was a, it was kind of a nightmare. Um, there was a manager there on an ego trip, and you know, a lot of the employees were having a hard time just with what we were doing creatively. I was very divorced from that creative um, work that we were doing and it was not a good place to work. And I ended up getting fired in November 
as retaliation because that manager didn't really like me. I wanted to leave, so that's kind of a silver lining in that instance. I didn't want to be there anymore, but I didn't want to leave <laughs> on bad terms, which unfortunately is what happened. So I lost my job in November, right before the holidays, which I don't know if anyone has ever lost their job before the holidays. It's a, it's a terrible time to lose your job. Thankfully, another win uh, last year was Jackie finishing nursing school and starting working as a full-time RN uh, in a hospital nearby, and she is working her butt off. It just coincided with my exit from my job, so luckily um, we were able to stay above water. Uh, that job's also really difficult for her. She works overnight 12-hour shifts, and uh, it's, a, it's a transition, and she's making a very very good go of it, but I know it's really difficult for her too. So we take the good and the bad together. Uh, then, uh, again, if you listen to the podcast, um, both of our cars were hit in two separate occasions within weeks of each other. Um, so both of our cars are in the shop currently as we speak. Uh, so we don't have any cars. <laughs> our friends are letting us borrow their other car, which, you know, uh, Jeremy and Ashley, shout out. If it wasn't for you guys, Milwaukee would be a very, very difficult place to live in, even worse than it is now. <laughs> so thank you guys. So because of all that, because of all the hardship uh, that we've had this last year, because of how rough it was for everybody, um, Jackie had the idea of taking a little trip for a couple of days um, up to the northwestern part of Wisconsin to a little rural town called Wild Rose and we rented a cabin and stayed there and it was snowing so it was like a winter wonderland and it was really great. Uh, it was a very much needed break from the day-to-day -day here in Milwaukee proper. Yeah of course we took some cameras. We took uh, a bunch of cameras. We took my RB67 but well that one back here. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, we also took my speed graphic um, and then Jackie took uh, her XA and we brought a bunch of film and we didn't make it a point like this trip wasn't specifically to take photos, but we wanted to take photos while we were there because of all the snow, because we're going to be out in the woods. And uh, I was very excited about the possibility of taking some very cool, outdoorsy, beautiful pictures. My favorite work has been done on slide film and I'm really gravitating towards shooting more slide film. So I decided on this trip to bring some ectochrome uh, sheet film for the 4x5, and then I brought a couple rolls of Fuji Provia to shoot in my RB67, as well as I think a roll of Portra 400 in 220. We got a late start, so we arrived later in the evening and immediately made Shin Ramen noodles, which is always the move. Uh, got a good night's sleep and then woke up the next day to a beautiful winter landscape and drove around looking for things to photograph and uh, I'll let the photos speak for themselves.
We really loved the area. Wild Rose is very cool. There's a lot of cool stuff to see. It was obviously completely blanketed in snow, but we would love to go back and check it out when it's like the spring or summertime. Uh, we had a great time in the little cabin. Klaus had a great time pooping all over the winter landscape and it was just really nice to get away and I'm really happy with the photos we took. Thank you guys for watching this video, the first video of um, 2023. As you know, this channel has no official sponsors. This channel is completely supported by our Patreon at patreon.com slash the photo department. It's very cheap and if you want, to support this channel, it's a great way to do so. There are different tiers, but all the tiers are just how much money you want to support the channel with. Every tier gets the same perks as either one, so spending more money doesn't get you more. Everyone gets everything no matter what, which I think is great because it's more inclusive that way. Every tier gets access to the Discord, which is 100% my favorite part of the Patreon. There's a ton of really talented and awesome people in there. Some people that I've met who've become close friends, uh, really, really talented photographers, a lot of really great discussions, people sharing their work, they're talking about coffee, talking about um, everyday carry stuff, meetups and, and what's going on in the film world today, a classified section if you wanna sell or buy stuff. It's just a really, really great place that has really kept me going over this last year. There are a lot of perks also with the Discord, like I will give away film, or there will be live streams. So yeah, it's really worth it. If you wanna help support this channel, again, it's patreon.com slash the photo department. The link is in the description. A big shout out to everyone at the Patreon and on the Discord. You guys are the lifeblood of this channel. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So thank you again for watching this video. I will be back soon whenever I decide to make another video. Happy New Year, 2023. Hopefully you do not suck more than 2022. A little less. A lot less would be great. A little less would be fine by me. Ikea coffee.